Happy Indian Independence Day. My name is Masum Mamaya, and I'm the curator of the Homespun Indian American Heritage Project. Independence Day is always a special time for me. It allows me to pause and remember the dedication that my grandfather and others in his generation had to ensuring that India could write its own destiny. Similarly, the Smithsonian has given us an amazing platform for us as Indian Americans to write and show our own story, the Indian American story, through a groundbreaking exhibition in 2013. This exhibition will explore the heritage, daily life experiences, and numerous and diverse contributions of Indian immigrants and Indian Americans in shaping the United States. When immigrants from India started settling here in the U.S. during the early 1900s, most of the images of these pioneers repeated the exotic stereotypes of the Orient that were already in wide circulation. For example, the Chicago-based McLaughlin Coffee Company mar marketed trading cards with mystical, exotic, and even backwards images of, quote, East Indians whose imagery was far from the lived experiences of Indian immigrants in America at that time. While some may consider these representations to be from a different area, they actually contribute to influencing popular understanding of Indian identity today. I feel that much more can be said about Indian immigrants and Indian Americans, especially when I see images such as this one from the Hollywood film Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Here, a woman is being served a monkey brain by an Indian servant, and images like this continue without an exhibition to tell our story as we live it. One way we're doing this in the exhibition is by showing family photos, like this one of my mom and me at age four during one of our first autumns together in Illinois. My mom journeyed over 10,000 miles to come here, and she adapted to a new climate in a place where people were constantly asking her where she was from. This family photo, and millions like it, are important pieces of our story. I'd like your photos to be a part of the story, this Indian American story. Please go into your basements, dust off your photo albums, and look through your hard drives, and send us your photos. You can find more information about how to do this at our website, homespun.si.edu.